So, I want to underline that fact. In 2012, more 
people in North Carolina voted for a Democrat representative in Congress, and yet only 31% of the representatives were Democrat. A minority of North Carolinians voted for a Republican, and they got 69% of the representation in our delegation. This is simply a subversion of democracy. In 2014, Republican candidates did a little better, 52% of all votes went for Republican, 48% went for Democrat. Yet the outcome was even more outrageous because 77%, 10 of the 13 congressional representatives were Republican. We are a 50-50 state, and yet our congressional delegation is three to one Republican and Democrat. And please do not say this is how it has always been done, because that's not true. The last redistricting was 2002. In that election, that, that was the first election after the last round of redistricting. In that election, 54% of our families cast a vote for a Republican member of Congress, 46% votes vote for a Democrat. You know what the split was? 54% of our delegation was Republican, and 46% was Democrat. That is a perfect, nearly perfect, congruence of votes and representation. And guess what's supposed to happen in a democracy? The share of votes should yield the same share of representation. This gerrymander boils down to self-preservation self without representation. The only savings grace of this map is that it represents partisan abuse of such scale that the Supreme Court can use it to create a standard for determining what constitutes an unconstitutional political gerrymander. Friends, we live in North Carolina, not North Korea. Voters should choose their representatives, not the other way around. Because this gerrymander does precisely the opposite, I urge you to vote no on this matter.